As promised in the first part, we'll show you the rest of our accessories. Sometimes it is interesting to see in which environment, in which habitats, we find the insects. We use the DJI Mini 3 drone to give us an overview of the landscape or a view of the habitat from above. It is easy to fly even for beginners, delivers beautiful 4K images, and is very steady in the air. So that we can also take off and land in tall grass, we have a small foldable landing pad with us. The drone has been fitted with lightweight feet, and of course, we have spare batteries as well as the control unit. We sit quietly on our camping chair and film an insect. Suddenly, we realize that we are also being watched. A fox is watching us here, and hear a common buzzard. With the Nikon Coolpix P1000 in our luggage, we can also film these animals and show them as a small contribution in our episodes. The Coolpix has a 24 to 3000 mm zoom lens. Birds and other wild animals can be zoomed in very closely. The Insta360. Go3 lets us film our car journeys to the habitat. The camera is small and lightweight. It can be mounted very close to the windshield in the car. The closer to the windshield, the fewer reflections. Unfortunately, it only films for 10 minutes. After that, it overheats and stops working. But hey, it was enough for our purposes. These pictures were taken with the DJI Pocket 3. We like the good stabilization and the 4K image quality. Everything can be put into the small bag. The bag should be a little bigger. Bad sound can ruin a good movie. We have already turned off a good Hollywood movie just because the sound was miserable. Bad music, too loud noises. When we are out and about without our mobile macro film studio and hear a good or special sound, sometimes a dictaphone or our cell phone helps us to capture it. At the moment, we mainly use the DJI mic to make our sound recordings. We love the compact and well thought out design. Everything comes in a small box that also serves as a charging station. The microphones are easy to use and record sound clearly and cleanly. What always bothers us a little, however, is that they record too quietly for our taste. We also use an external microphone for the dubbing of our German language episodes. Sometimes, Elizabeth is filming in one place and I'm already out of sight around the next bend. If we are 20 or 30 meters apart, we naturally don't want to shout at each other. That could frighten wild animals or passers-by. We use a radio device to communicate over long distances. Of course, you always need a few spare batteries for your camera. In our experience, cheaper batteries from manufacturers other than Panasonic can be used for just as long. Sufficient memory cards are a must. All the equipment with all the trimmings has its price. If something gets lost and there is an honest finder, there should be a business card in every bag. Cleaning cloths are not only useful for the lenses, but are also important for the frequently used touchscreen. Fingerprints remain on the small monitor, and the light reflection makes it impossible to see anything after a short time.
Handkerchiefs are never wrong. We use scissors to remove unwanted grass in front of the lens. Grass often casts shadows on our actors, bringing unwanted movement or darkness into the picture. A pruning shear for thicker branches when we need a clear view of the actors, or when something interesting is too high up and we want it at a comfortable height. A flashlight brings light into the dark. However, we only use them when there is no other way. The right lighting is always provided by the sun. Of course, a real Swiss always has a Victorinox pocket knife with him, practical for tightening screws, cutting bread, opening bottles, and much more. Personal well-being is very important. Always having enough to drink and a small snack keeps us fit. Headgear and sun cream to protect yourself from the sun are important companions. To stay in the same place for a longer period of time, shady parasols are very pleasant. An editing program is of course required to process the film snippets you have made. But you know that, and I'm sure you have your own preferences. As soon as we adapt our equipment again, we will report here. In our series, Stories from the Insect Kingdom, we take you on an exciting journey of discovery. In the individual episodes, we will give you more tips and tricks for filming in the macro range. If you want to make successful insect films, you shouldn't miss them. So that's it. Until later. Until then.